Welcome to Exposure. I'm your host, Dennis Illich. I'm a celebrity photographer working in Los Angeles. Some of the places I've traveled to for my photography are Singapore, New York, Mumbai, Australia, and the Amalfi Coast in Italy. This is Exposure. Welcome to Exposure. I'm your host, Dennis Illich. Exposure looks behind the lens at what influences, motivates, and inspires some of the most creative people in the world. My guest today is actor Michael Truco, who you may remember from the iconic series Battlestar Galactica. He's been in Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, and is currently in a very funny show called Disjointed, which cracks me up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank so you. great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Mike, you know, we met because of Battlestar Galactica. I wanted to work with you um, for so many years and it took a long time. Like you were the la one of the last yep. actors that I photographed quite recently. I I'd just love to hear a little bit about, you know, what inspired you to become an actor? It was a, um, an early obsession with, with film and television mm -hmm. as a kid. Uh, I grew up in Northern California um, and I wasn't exactly uh, surrounded by an industry of, of you know, film or television or acting. It just wasn't something that you even considered. But I had an opportunity to get involved in the theater at Santa Clara University. And I took a class that said, that was called acting for non-majors. And it was just an elective. But something happened in that class and the, the head of the theater department, when, I, when we completed, she looked at me and she said, you know, we enjoyed having you in class. I think you should come and study with us. I did, and um, I just did a ton of theater. I, I graduated with a BA in theater, and then I made the move, man. And, and it was, you know, I wish I had a great uh, discovery story, the yeah. guy that comes up and does yeah. the proverbial, like, oh my yeah. God, you know, three picture deal, yeah. you know, yeah. 10 weeks later. <laughs> and it just wasn't that way. I just did it the really long and boring way. Michael, you spoke about somebody um, specifically championing your creative energy and inspiring you to become an actor. Was that um, just a single occurrence, or did you have people helping you along the way? I've always believed that the, um, the path to, to get to me where I am today was one that was filled with little breadcrumbs, and somebody was always yeah. dropping a breadcrumb. And when I was in high school, I was 15 years old, wow. and it was the first time I wanted, I, I approached the theater. And my intent was to want to work in in the shadows. Mm -hmm. I wanted to run the spotlight or yeah. be the guy who pulls the curtain yeah. or do something you know, behind the scenes, build the sets. And the director of the show was this gentleman named Father Joe Bravo. I went to Sarah High School in San Mateo, California. And I'll never forget it. He said, that's great. We've got, you, you know, there's lots of places for you to you know, help in the theater, but I'd like you to come and read for the show. Wow. And he wanted me to read for the lead of the show. And I was like, oh, no, 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 absolutely not. I don't, you know, and I, all the fear and everything goes, I just, trust me on this, I want you to come and read for the show. But do you, do you have any interest in photography besides what you do? I mean, you know, obviously, actually with our I phones, do. it's an important part of our lives. You know? It's a huge part of our lives, and I think it's really ironic because you talk about photography, and especially, you know, for the actor photography, is, yeah. it goes part and parcel to what yeah. we do. And the reality is, I don't even know if you know this, but I hate still photography. Well, that's what As you're the say, still no, photographers no. for a second. No, not at all. <laughs> this being the subject of still photography. Yeah. In other words, what they call gallery shoots. Yeah. And you know, in our business, when we do a show, we have to when, promote. Yeah. And I hate it, and I feel uncomfortable, yeah. and I feel awkward. And yeah. the thing that I love is the onset photographers yes. yeah. who float in between the shadows yeah, and the take, ninjas, you know, yeah, yeah, and they take photos of us during rehearsals yeah. or even during shooting. Yeah. And they get those, those, you know, those candid shots. Mm. I'm a little can be a little bit agoraphobic, so I kind of like being on set and being left alone to hunt yeah. around. But um, it's why, you know, when you and I shot uh, together, you know, I, I always pare it down to just, who I try to make the person that's assisting me and, and taking care of the grooming as a driver as well. So sure. it is, and that way, you can you can really sort of connect with the person, exactly. and that's so you important. There's no static. Our social media question for today comes from Ali Saws, and Ali asks, "What inspires you to create, and where do you get that inspiration from? Like, do you have, you know, do do you have actors that you love, or do you? Is it? Oh, I, as, yeah. a, as an actor, I, I have no idea really what what yeah. um, where you oh, get all that from. For sure, I think um, what inspires me is the ability to elicit an emotional reaction." Yeah from the audience, yeah. whether that's in theater, in television, film. Everything has to come together, the word, the dialogue, and the, the, you know, the lighting, and all those things to elicit that, and the musical cue, and whatever it yeah, takes yeah. to be a part of that, mm -hmm. to get to be lucky enough to be a part of that, and I don't yeah. take sole credit for it, ever. Yeah. Yeah. 
that inspires me. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us on the show, Michael. It's been a great thrill having you here and photographing with you as well. I hope we do it again soon. Yeah. Thanks for joining us in Exposure. Don't forget to stay tuned for more and don't forget to send your questions in too as they might be featured in one of the episodes coming up. See you all next time. <laughs>